Shalom brothers, uh, this is Yabba Tiza back again with another uh, video. Uh, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth and pushing his word. Uh, basically, I just want to jump into a, a few scriptures just talking about the kingdom and uh, how we're hastening in the day of the of the Lord. All right, the return of Yahweh Shai. And uh, that's the spirit that we have to be on, man. We have to be tired of this place, fed up with this place. And uh, desire a, a better kingdom, man. You know, a better, uh, uh, a better home, because this place ain't our home, man. You know, we don't belong here, man. You know, we're 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 considered the offscorn of the of the earth, the filth of the earth, all because we want to push this truth, man. All because we want to uh, live a, a, according to the, our power way, our our the way the our power has instructed us. We're we're as strange to the to the earth, man, to the people. You know, and that shit's vexing, man, because, you know, it's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just messed up how it is, man. But, you know, it just it ain't something that's been on my mind as well. You know, going hand in hand with all the wickedness that are in, that's set in men's hearts, man. You know, the person that can live, be laying in the, in the very same bed with you could be uh, your destruction. The person that's living next door to you can be your destruction, man. It's, it's fucked up here. You know, and it's, it's, it's nothing, there's no nothing new un, underneath the sun. It's always happened that way, you know. Bunch of, uh, you know, backstabbing, you know. And I've, it, ain't, it this ain't nothing that's going on in my life as far as somebody, you know, backstabbing or nothing like that. It's just something that I'm just feeling in my spirit and how it, it just, there's no peace here. There's no love here. All right. It's, it's, uh, this is a trial of our faith, man. This is a... We're under the curses for our, for our uh, rebelliousness, man. For going off and, and not obeying our power. Yahweh Yahweh Shai. But I just want to bring out some scriptures on how Abraham, you know, he 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 was seeking out a kingdom, man. He had faith in Yahweh Shai. He had faith in Yahweh that he wanted the things that he was going to be uh, given if he obeyed. And that's how we are, man. We have to, we're, we're in that same spirit. We have to be in that same spirit, man. The first scripture I want to bring out is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. It says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out and not knowing whether he went. Right. And that's what faith is, man. It's faith is is is, is a substance of things hoped for, not seen. So we, we got to uh, move what the spirit commands us, you know. And put our trust in 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 in, in, in the Lord, that He's gonna take care of everything, man. Cause things out, man. Things are getting crazy out here, man. Out in the world, things are getting worse, man. You know, there's, there's it's 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 chaotic out here, man. People are wilding out. People are misbehaving even worse, man. You know, it's like the scriptures say. The prophet Ezra says, uh, "Women shall bring forth uh, menstruous women shall bring forth monsters." And that's, that's exactly what there is out here, man. A bunch of damn monsters out here, man. All right. So verse 9, it says, By faith he sojourned in the land of promise. Right? Where was that at? The land of Canaan. You know, which today we know it as, uh, uh, in the old times, it was Canaan, the, uh, uh, the land of uh, the Philistines. And now it's uh, the, the, the land of Jerusalem. All right. Israel. Okay. It says, uh, by faith he, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country. Dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Right? Because that's who the promises were made to, were given to, man. Was to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the twelve sons. All right? The twelve sons of Israel, Yahshua Allah. He is a prince of power, man. All right, all the way from Judah, all the way down to Issachar. All right, Judah being the uh, the so-called Negroes today, and Issachar being the so-called Mexican today, man. All right. Uh, verse ten it says, "For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to, to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful." Who had promised therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead 
so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. They're all, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. See, and that's what, how we had to be in that same spirit, man. We, we, we had to know the same our home. We have to know that this place has to be destroyed and be established under a new rulership. And it's our power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, who created all things, the creator of earth, the heavens, the stars, the moon, the things that, 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 that are visible and, in, and invisible. All right. Who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's who we're calling out to the true names of the Most High. The father's name is Yahweh and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. We're, we're pilgrims on this side right now, man. And we got to move on. We got to uh, uh, accept that. Verse 14. For they that, for they that say such things dec declare plainly that they seek a, a country. And that's what we're, we're seeking a country, man. We're seeking a kingdom that is established and built upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And as governed by the law, the spirit, the, the, the truth, man. You know? Who loves being in, in a chaotic place, man? We need order. This place is out of order, man. This place, America, is out of order. It's a city of confusion. You know? How much... It's going to be so much beautiful in the kingdom, man. So much more to look forward to. Than to waking up. I mean, nowadays, when you go to sleep and you're fucking in hell. You know? You, you wake up and you, you're you fucking faced with, you know, uh, fucking someone already calling you about paying a bill or you pass due or or you, you're, you're sick, you know, or somebody's bitching at you. Your female's bitching at you. Kids are fucking loud as hell. You know, neighbors being loud as hell. There's always something, man. In your sleep, you can't even sleep right because fucking, you know, whatever may be going on in your life, man. You know, or you or demons attacking you in your dreams. You know, this ain't the place we, we, we want, man. We want a better place. You know, but it says, uh, uh, verse 15, Hebrews 11 to 15. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to to opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. And we believe that the Most High has prepared all things for us. All right? That, we're, the, the, that city that he, he's prepared for us is, is to, the, the, to rule the universe, to rule the earth, man. To be back on top as kings and priests. All right? That's the city... That's that new heaven, that new earth that it's talking about in Revelation chapter 21, man. That it's going to be built upon righteousness. And all wickedness and evil and oppression is going to be wiped out, man. And those that are oppressed us, it's going to be, it's going to return to them that they're going to be oppressed. They're going to put, be put through slavery. All right. It says, verse, uh, let's see. Verse, I'm going to read uh, verse 16 one more time. But now they desire a better country that, that is a heavenly, wherefore the Most High is not ashamed to be called their, their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. Right? And, and that's what we're uh, seeking for, man. You know? We're seeking a, a better kingdom, a better establishment, a, a better government. You know? This place, uh, this government today is, is whack, man. It's built upon uh, the, the old Roman ways. All right, and, and the Romans, they were destroyed, man. Why are you going to bring back something that was destroyed? It didn't work for them, so why is it going to work for you? You know? Uh, next scripture I want to get real quick is in the book of Revelations, chapter 21. Start at verse 1. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Right? And that new earth and new heaven is talking about a new kingdom. All right? It's not talking about the earth being destroyed. And, in, and the Lord's re going to recreate a whole new earth. No. The scriptures tell you that it's not, that's not what's going to happen in the, in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1. All right? 
it says verse 2 and I John saw the holy city new Jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven prepared as a bride adored for her husband right and that new Jerusalem is talking about the elect when we're being up in the chariots that the world call UFOs then we're going to be brought down in them chariots man because he that's who Yahweh is coming back for his bride he's a bridegroom so he, he's coming back for his people man the his bride the elect that's who Jerusalem is. A, we're a people before a place, man. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacles of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Right. And then, like I said, that's how Israel is going to be put back on top, and they're going to have the, 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 their power back, man. Their spiritual power, you know. The law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written on the pond of the tables of their hearts, of their mind. And they're going to have Yahweh Shai with them. And Yahweh. Verse 4. And Yahweh shall wipe away all, all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, ne nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right? We're going to be brought out of slavery, man. We're going to be... We're going to be Delivered from our captivity, from our captors, and restored back into our natural state, our natural uh, ruling state to rule the earth and govern the, the animals and the rest of the people. And we're no longer going to be out, you know, working absurd hours and, and being oppressed by our uh, 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 thieves and, and adulterers and adulteresses, you know, men that are coming in sheep's clothing with, but in, within their raven wolves. We ain't going to be dealing with that shit. That shit's going to be weeded out and cut down. As soon as it's 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 heard and spotted, but that's that, that's a beautiful thing though because we're, we're that's what that's what the uh, the elect are doing, man. They're sighing and crying, you know, for the abominations that are being committed in the earth, man. We're vexed with by the filthy conversation of the wicked. We hate this place, you know. We hate our damn selves. We hate our lives, you know. This place got to go, man. These bodies ain't worth the shit. I mean, we got to be thankful for what we get. And we got to take care of it, you know. But we know that there's a far more greater thing out there, man. And that's only through Yahweh Shai. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And there, there's nothing else, man. All right? No damn drug, no pill, no fucking steroid, whatever these motherfuckers out here are doing. That, that, that's not enough, you know. It says, uh, Revelation 21 and 5, And he that sat upon the throne said behold i make all things new and he said unto me right for these words are the true and faithful there you go man and and, and he's gonna make all things new man and that's what we're, we're waiting for man for everything to be refreshed to to, to start over all, all, all over again you know it's just like in the in the movie uh uh superman versus uh batman or batman versus superman either way the newest one that came out that, that and that's what uh uh Batman was saying at the end of the movie was basically that he that we had a, the, the, that the society the humans they had to start over and they that he believes they can to, to, to make things better no man you, you people can't make nothing better man you failed century after century year after year uh, uh, decade after decade man you, there's nothing you can do anymore Esau and you fucking you, the, the the populace of the earth, man, you fucking put your trust in your in the your, your your presidents, your government, and they fail you every single time, man. And but that's why we make these videos to to fish out the elect, and we're telling you, cry out to your heavenly your father, man, Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai, and, and and he's gonna restore that, man. He's gonna restore order back again. All right, verse six, and he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. So we got to uh, seek out the truth, man. All right, that, that, that water you're supposed to be thirsting is the scriptures, man. All right, this is that pure water. All right, this is that water that's going to really hydrate you, you know, mentally, spiritually, man. It's going to feed you with that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, and that's what we're commanded to do is to go and, and to uh, uh, preach this 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 uh, this word, man, this food, this wine, this milk, you know, this bread. But I basically want to leave it with that, brothers. You know, 
just getting tired of being in this damn place. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you brothers are too. I know for a fact you brothers are, you know, getting tired of being in this damn hell. But, uh, hey man, we got something looking for, we got something to look forward to, and that's the kingdom. And we just got to keep, you know, our, our spiritual eye on that goal, man, on that, uh, you know, what the Lord said, you know, keep, keep things in remembrance and, uh, meditate and keep pushing his word. But uh, I want to leave it with that, brothers, and say, uh, you know, first and foremost, give all praise and glory and honor to y'all, by Shimmy, I was shy. And, you know, much love, respect to you, brothers, out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Double honors to the elders, a great millstone. Until then, brothers, I want to say, Shalom.